What's going on guys? Today we're putting together a gaming PC in collaboration with ASUS and the Wounded Warrior Project, or WWP. WWP is an organization that provides support to veterans who uh, are having a really difficult time adjusting to civilian life after they've come back from, from wars. Like I said, we're going to be building a gaming system for Joey. Joey was uh, in the United States Army and he served in Iraq War. Wounded Warrior Project has helped him get up on his own two feet along with his loving wife and his family, but I'm sure his journey and his struggles uh, are still ongoing. So any way that we can help him out today is going to be super cool. You know, gaming gets a bad rap in the press these days, but there's honestly a lot of great things about gaming. Being able to be a, a part of a community, um, it's a relaxing and can be a therapeutic experience for a lot of people. And for, you know, veterans who suffer from PTSD, it can be a really positive outlet, whether they're playing by themselves or with friends or family members, meeting uh, new people online and making those connections. Why don't we talk about the parts though? These are all parts that were provided by ASUS, and you'll see for the most part, they're all part of the Tough Gaming or Tough Gaming Alliance. Uh, brand. Honey, look! I built us a dual PC! Two systems inside one case with one power supply! Why? <laughs> because, silly! It takes up half the space of our old PCs, fewer parts means more money saved, and it provides an incredible streaming experience. Best of all, there's no more contest of whose rig is better. With a dual PC, there's nothing left to stand between us! Cool. I call the top system. That's fine, I'll uh... I'll take the one with the integrated graphics. No problem. Build the ultimate dual PC with the Fantex 719 that supports two full systems and an arsenal of water cooling hardware. Enjoy a flexible interior layout that accommodates two power supplies or a single unit like the Revolt X that ships with a pair of cable sets to power two systems at once. For more info on the Fantex 719 and Revolt X, click on the link in the description below. Our CPU is none other than the AMD Ryzen, so that was a great start. Uh, Ryzen 7 3700X, 8 core, 16 thread CPU. You guys know it, you love it, and I'm sure Joey will too. It's a fantastic processor. Our memory has fallen. It is the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro DDR4 kit, 16 gigs here, uh, 3000 speed. Would have loved to crank that up to 3600, but I think uh, Asus sent this over because it's part of their uh, Tough Gaming Alliance. They probably didn't have a 3600 kit available, but that's okay. Maybe we can crank this up a little bit for Joey if we uh, overclock it in the BIOS once all is said and done. For our motherboard, ASUS has provided their own Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi. Kind of nice that we get that newer platform. It looks like we've got uh, not just an 8-pin, but an additional 4-pin connector for our CPU, so it should have no problem uh, running our 8-core 16-thread CPU. We could probably even upgrade that down the line to like a 16-core 3950X if Joey ever wanted to. I think this board is more than capable of that. We also have an ASUS Tough Gaming RTX 2060. It's got that nice little pattern thing. Again, this is going to look really nice once it's all matched together because we have the same same sort of pattern on the motherboard and some of the other components. This particular GPU does come factory overclocked by ASUS. It has 16 gigs of GDDR6 memory and is rocking that dual ball bearing fan design. Over here we have a Corsair MP600 NVMe PCIe Gen 4 x 4 M.2 SSD with a one terabyte capacity. Ooh, Joe is getting hooked up. I love the fact that it includes a heatsink because it looks like the top slot here doesn't have any sort of heatsink cover on our board. So this actually looks really nice too in all solid matte black. Really quick emergency drop in shot guys. I'm sorry I messed up. I totally forgot to include this SSD. I didn't realize that they were actually adding it to the list. This is Team Group's T-Force Delta SRJB. One ter- So the, he's getting- Joey's getting two terabytes of SSD storage. This is a nice little uh, SSD. It's got some RGB glow on it, and that makes it faster. Additionally, we'll be able to trick things out a bit with an Asus ROG or a terminal RGB controller. It does include some RGB strips as well, so things are bound to get lit. We also have an id- Is this id cooling or id cooling? Uh, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say it out loud, so I'm not sure. You guys let me know. But this is their Aura Flow X 240 millimeter liquid AIO. It's got some RGB fans. It uh, looks like it's using an Asa Tech design for its mounting system, and it does have that tough gaming pattern on the side as well. That should look pretty cool. Powering our system is an Asus ROG Strix 750 watt unit, fully modular design, very nice uh, sort of design on the side as well, along with an 80 plus gold certification and a 10 year warranty. We also have some sleeved cables from Cable Mod. These are their Pro Series cables, all in black. You can't go wrong with black. And then last but not least for our build, we have the one and only Tough Gaming GT501. This tower is pretty darn sweet. It has a tempered glass side panel, lots of ventilation on either side, a beautiful speckled finish that feels really nice to the touch, and these awesome handles. This was actually really handy for me uh, taking the 
the case out of the box. These are also really nice to have in case Joey ever wants to tote it around from A to B, maybe take it to a LAN party or something like that. Uh, so those are all the parts for our build. If you guys want links to any of this stuff, I'll drop it in the description below as always, but we're not done yet. Asus has some more surprises for Joey. So many surprises, in fact, that we couldn't even fit them on the table over there. So uh, we have a monitor, a tough gaming VG27A, 27 inch, 2540 by 1440 resolution. What else? Okay, I gotta move this slowly so I don't make that stuff fall. 150, 155, I didn't realize this was 155 hertz panel. That's pretty cool. IPS, yes, good job, Asus. One millisecond response time, G-Sync compatible. Oh yeah, this is, this has the works. And we have everything else we need here for a full throttle gaming experience. A tough gaming K7 mechanical keyboard with full RGB per key backlighting, tough gaming P3 mouse pad, tough gaming M3 gaming mouse, and of course, you can't forget your tough gaming H5 7.1 gaming headset. Links for that stuff will be in the description too, guys. Oh yeah, Asus already uh, also included Windows 7. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Windows 7, what is this? What is this, some kind of sick joke? Windows 10 64-bit, home edition, there you go. Those are the parts. This is gonna be a good build, I can tell. I can feel it, I can feel it in my bones. Okay, let's build this thing. All right, I'm gonna film this whole thing with one hand. We're just gonna do it vlog style, all right? Which means I have to build the system with one hand too, but there's no problem there. That's pretty easy. Oh crap, that's an unfortunate start. You just gotta give it some pressure. If I break anything during this build, I will personally replace it with my own funds. Cause let's face it, it's probably gonna happen. You will spin me right around, baby, right around. All right, we don't need you anymore. You've served your purpose, which was no purpose. Coming in hot, Major. Come on, get in there. That looks, that seems firm to me. Get down! All right, I had to put the camera down for a sec so I could actually install this back plate. We're good to go now. We're gonna do our little thermal paste application here, just a little bit. A little goes a long, whoa! Whoa, that was dangerously close to verge territory. We're good though, we're in the clear. All right, so very straightforward and easy mounting here. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, I actually do have this on a little tripod now, so I can, hold on. And screw down, baby. Boom. Ow! Ow! All right, looking good so far. What's next? This guy. Oh wait, we need the uh, we need a little post. We need a little standoff. All right, come on. Showing. Is this, is this you? Yes. <laughs> the motherboard is fully prepped and ready for case installation. Nothing here is German engineered. Why am I talking like that? Okay, I lied. I actually had to put the fans on the radiator first, and I already did that. See, you should never trust a German. Ah, the IO shield. So easy to forget. Yet, but uh, so essential. Otherwise, you have a really nasty looking back end. Woohoo! Easy does it. Easy there, boy. Press the radiator here for a moment while we get a screws. Do we want fine thread or coarse? I'm not sure. And it's coarse. Of course it's coarse. Now let me just do that eight more times. I'm gonna pop the power supply in next. But I think it's a little different here. I mean, we might have to remove this shroud because from the back, no bracket here, so can't mount it from there. And it doesn't look like you can get it from here either. So I think, yep. Is there a screw here? Oh, no, no screws here. Must be some screws on this side. Yep, right there, right there, and right there. 90% of this video is just me screwing. Come on, you scallywag. All right, now I gotta plug in all of our modular cables into the, oh, look, I already did it, cause I'm smart. I'm a genius. <laughs> Joey's gonna watch this video later and be like, why did they give me the weird guy? All right, pulled all the cables through the other side. I think the next thing we can do here, put this back on. What? What's happening? No, don't bring him in here. He's gonna get hair everywhere. This is a client build. We can't afford to have cat hair on it. What if he's allergic? We can get sued. Oh, he's so cute though. I don't care, get him out of here. Wait, what the hell? Where'd she come from? Hey. York. What are you doing? How long have you been here? Creeper? Getting hair all over my chair. Anyway, build. We have a build to do. All right, bye, honey. All right, now it's time to install the Aura Terminal. Molex. Uh, we meet again, my old friend. And the great thing about the Aura Terminal is that it has those screws for two and a half inch drive mounts. You can actually put it anywhere you can mount a two and a half inch drive. All right, I'm just gonna one hand this like a champ. Get it, come on. Oh, you're floppy. Oh, you're looking a little floppy there. That pretty much meets. Oh, they touch tips. How cute. By the way, I have already done all the wiring for our front panel connectors. You can see there's an additional USB 2.0 right there. I did the front panel power and reset and USB 3.0 as well. Getting down to the wire here. Oh boy, I'm getting excited. I feel like I feel like I'm going to a party. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun at this party. Probably gonna play some games this party. Ow. And all who's invited is me, G, P, and you. Get in there, boy. Oh, 
<laughs> and oh that sounded good let's see can i screw these thumb screws in with one hand can he do it yes he can he's a legend ladies and gentlemen an absolute mad lad that's right john as we've just seen the only thing that can stand in kyle's way is a dust defender <laughs> cable mod to save the day come on gromit work with me do what you do best and open wide wiring up the gpu we got these little cutouts in the basement i'm just gonna stuff this mother after you're done gently pushing it through, go ahead and connect it to the GPU. Straighten out these guys. Ooh. Ooh. All right, cable management is done. Let's see if the side panel fits. I guess that would be a good indicator if I've done my job well. He's going for the mount. He's going in slowly but confidently. Will he do it for the world title? He sticks the landing up and at him. Oh, and he does it, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd goes wild. An unprecedented 10 from the United States, a 10 from Brazil, a 10 from Mexico, and a three and a half from the GTX 970. Sorry. Sorry, I'll be quiet. Could you hear me? Was I was I being loud? Okay. What's her problem? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a boot. Whoa! Damn, I forgot how sharp looking that aura terminal is, baby. Look at them RGB lights everywhere. Oh, yes, we got our first boot. We got our first boot. This is looking pretty good. Fans are ramping up. Things are lighting up. Oh, my goodness. Ah, the sound of water going through the tubes for the very first time on your AIO. There's really nothing quite like it, is there, boys? All right, all right. Show of hands. Who's a fan of this build? You're a fan. 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 Looking pretty fly, Kyle. You did a good job again. You did a good man. By the way, shout out to Asus for making these captive. Like, these are like the really nice looking thumb screws that usually aren't captive. But these ones are, and it's awesome. But these ones are, and it's awesome. Here we go. All right, guys, so fast forward a little bit. I already have Windows installed on this sucker, and it went smoothly. Not That's that's connected to a different system, but this is the one that's connected to Joey's brand new system, just if you want proof. Ready? 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 There it is. Windows and drivers installed. We're good to go, people. Like I said, Joey's coming tomorrow. I think he's coming in the morning, so I'll have this all set up by then. We'll do a little reveal. All right, fast forward to tomorrow. Joey. Thank you for being here, man. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So you drove all the way here from Arizona? Yes. Awesome. How long was that drive? About four hours. Okay, not too bad. Yeah. That's that's exciting because that means you get to take all the hardware back with you right away, yes. right after this. So right off the bat, if you could just sort of talk about, just very briefly, like sort of your time in, in the Army, how that was. I joined shortly after 9-11. I was a freshman in college. A lot of people joined, so it took a while to get going, but... Um, that August in 2002, I left for basic training. As soon as you get to basic training, they're telling you, hey, you're a trainer for war. It's no longer, you know, that type of military. You're not going to stay. Don't plan on staying in garrison, they would tell you. So she shifted your mentality towards, all right, now we know we're training for real. What, what's going through your head when they say you're going to Iraq? What, what, there must be a mixture, like a concoction of emotions going on there. It's what you train for. So you kinda, you, you're expecting it. So you're ready. You think you're ready. You have that, that fantasy that it's like Call of Duty and you know, you have, I guess you have respawns and you just, you can, you're gonna run through and be this hero because, I mean, even in training with the simulated rounds and everything, you always win. I mean, it's not set up for you to lose. So you, you get this level of confidence, almost an arrogance, especially, I was an infantryman, so we have a different level of arrogance anyway. So you get that kind of arrogance, like you're maybe almost untouchable. And then, <laughs> and then you get there and the culture shock sets in of the reality of the situation. And after reading your, your profile through WWP, I think I remember it saying that you actually had a unfortunate encounter with an IED at some point. Was that, was that right? Quite a few. A couple. Yeah, there was a couple really, really bad incidents. And then there's, you know, even ones that didn't involve me that involved, you know, my friends. Like, I wear these bracelets. Um, sort of made a, was killed by an IED. Um, and it's, that was like the first, that was my first casualty encounter, you know, coming on that scene and, seen Mark and then the angel and that so that was something that really it did dug and hurt me for a long time because I didn't understand and I never so someone you lose someone and then you go to a little ceremony that lasts 10 minutes that 
everybody's wearing their gear because you don't know if a bomb's coming in and then they're like all right now forget about it and keep fighting in the war the war doesn't stop because someone dies so you never really have a chance to say goodbye and then you come home and you know you got the euphoric state of i'm home with my family and everything's great and happy and then reality hits in that all the things you've subsided for 12 13 some people 18 20 months you know right. and then it hits you like a phone book <laughs> is that sort of like what we would consider PTSD in yeah. a sense that's where it, well, that's where it starts to I think where people don't where they start to understand if they're affected or not right I mean for your experience personally how how have all of these things sort of manifested into challenges when you were readjusting or trying to readjust to civilian life I was really emotionless and a lot of it had to do with uh, medications and just different things so hey you have a problem here's a pill you have a problem, here's a pill. Your problem, here's a pill. So next thing you know, but oh, that pill doesn't work, so take this one too. And then it turns into a point where you're almost in a vegetative state because all you have is this medication. Or, or you know, then there comes a point where they want they don't want to give it to you anymore. So it becomes self-medicating, and it's a it's a vicious cycle. And you see it a lot in the military constantly. In terms of like other peers through Wounded Warrior Project that you've met, has it helped at all to sort of have conversations with? other veterans that are going through the same thing or similar things. So when you leave the military, the camaraderie, I'm not gonna say it goes with it, but you, you lose connection to have that again when you come through into Word Project, these engagement activities, the different, they have peer support meetings and, and places where you could just sit down with another veteran and say, you know what, I need to pour my heart out to you. And you know, in a sense that they're gonna understand you and they might want you to listen back. So you know, be prepared, but it's, it's nice to have somebody who's, who may not have been through the same thing as you, but they have similar experiences. So, so it's a like-minded person. Do you guys, this may be switching gears a little bit here, but do you guys ever game together? I do. Yeah. Um, so I know that there's a couple, and there's actually a couple like that are starting to process and stand up now as like veteran-owned nonprofits for like veteran gaming just to do that same thing in a sense. Like, let's get these vets together and let them game. Sometimes it gets a little rowdy. It's almost like a freshman high school gym class in there, but it really just helps us, one, just to get to forget about everything else that's going on, and two, stay connected. So to have that, a platform where you know, hey, I know that my buddy from New Hampshire logs on at this time. I can get on or shoot him a message, hey, we're gonna be playing at this time. Like the, the gaming social media area is a whole lot different. You know, it's not, it doesn't bring in all the, the life stuff. So it's nice to have that, like an escape from the real world in a sense. Where you, where you do get response and you know well i think that's uh you know it's it's really nice to hear um how gaming's been a positive outlet for you and so many other people like you in your position um which i guess is sort of what brings us here today because through wounded warrior project and uh, the folks over at asus we've actually managed to put together a pretty sweet gaming system for you which is as you might expect uh what's under this sheet over here so are you ready to see it i am okay I'm here it is man your new gaming pc Ah, Check it out. Sweet. Yes. That is awesome. There's a, an 8-core, 16-thread Ryzen processor in there, 16 gigs of RAM, G, an RTX 2060. You've got some RGB lighting in there. And I really love the handles on the case. Yeah. It's really nice to just sort of tote it around from A to B. Well, if I want to put it on a bigger monitor or move it, because I, exactly. I have a mic monitor in the front room, and then we have another monitor. So I have a 27 and a 22. So okay. Two. Speaking of monitors, uh, Asus also hooked you up with a gaming display, keyboard oh and mouse. God. So everything, that little setup right there that you see, that's all yours to take home today as well. Wow. Um, so you'll have a brand new 2560 <laughs> by 1440p display with its G-Sync compatible. You're, you're pretty much getting the cream of the crop gaming experience with this setup today. So um, huge cow. shout out to Asus and WWP Absolutely. for making it happen. Thank you so much. It's all running really smoothly. Temperatures are looking great. Um, and it's it's very quiet. It's very quiet. I was quiet, just saying, it's just like it. the fans are like super quiet. I think you're going to, I think you're going to get a it's kick out of It's not going to be whisper quiet though when I'm yelling on that headset. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You'll more than make up for the uh, the lack of noise in the PC. Yeah, I hope, I hope you like it, man. And I hope this can bring you some, some peace it and some enjoyment, amazing. some relaxation. I don't know what to say. Everyone's going to want to be on your team now. Good. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much. It's been an honor, man. I for... have something for you. No, you yes. don't. No, you so, don't. I don't. Um, I don't care what you say. So, there's a, a military <laughs> tradition with where they do coins. So, Wounded Warrior Project Whoa. likes to give us these, and um, no way. I always save these for the people that I feel like are on my team, the ones that are doing something good for me and that are going to continue to do something good for the for the vets. And I wanted to to give you this. Oh, dude. So. 
thank you so much. This means a lot. So, I, I mean, this means a lot to me. So I don't think this isn't just going to impact me. This is going to help impact my family and my son and the time that I get to spend with him. And, 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 and I don't think you realize how big of a really truly impact this is going to have on me and my family. So I wanted to make sure that you knew how much, how important it was to me. This is amazing, man. Thank so, you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Joey. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Toss a like, get subscribed for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. And we'll see you guys in the next video.